statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Great to be with you. Glad you were able to get your radio fixed (laughs) and tune into the show. And uh, we'll be here for a couple of hours. We're live. Show does air live, 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. It does uh, air in different markets, so you have to check your local, local listings. The show airs coast to coast, including Hawaii, which is a nice place to be. That's where my guest was from yesterday. Uh We'll see if someday maybe I can get a vacation. We'll go to Hawaii, get a get a pineapple. I'll bring you a pineapple back. I'll bring one for Stephen and Josh. Bring you pineapples. Now, would you say the hula? Oh, you would rather have somebody in a yeah. How'd you know I was gonna say that? I, I don't, cause I know you. Like immediately, I thought, just bring me a hula dancer. Absolutely. <laughs> of course, you would want a hula dancer. Yeah. Who yeah. wouldn't? Who uh-huh. wouldn't? Yeah. Who wouldn't? Right. So, uh, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. That's the, <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's the title for today's show. That's what my mother used to say when I lipped her. <laughs> Give her some lip. Watch your mouth. <laughs> I'm not saying that to you because to, you're giving me lip or, you know. I'm saying it because I'm, I'm trying to get your attention for the th- today's theme. It's about oral health. You need to watch your mouth. I am telling you, by the time I'm through today, you're going to make an appointment to go to the dentist. (laughs) You will. I'm telling you. I'm going to connect your oral health to so many different health issues. It's, it's It's an inexhaustible theme. I'm shocked that I haven't really addressed this more thoroughly in the past. I have talked about it from time to time, but today we're going to give it a real dental examination. <laughs> That's what we're going to do around here today. It's a, it, I, I joke about it because, you know, watch your mouth, watch your, you got to have some humor about this, but I'm, I must say, uh, it's pretty serious. You're going to, uh, today I'm going to report on a brand new study coming out of university of Louisville that connects the bacteria in your mouth to a stroke. And that's the good news. There's bad news and then there's worse news. There's, I could find, (laughs) I could find no, um, how can I put this pathway out of this literature? With respect, there was no controversy. Nobody's debating. You know, usually there was a pushback. You have two camps. Fat causes heart disease. Fat doesn't. High fat diet, low fat diet. This and that. You know, you get back the back and forth of it all. I got found no back and forth on this. People are in virtual agreement. That tells me that since the ambiguity is almost non-existent, that you need to pay attention. There's no ambiguity about this. Your oral health is a mirror into your overall health. That's why you need to watch your mouth. 
877-897-8255. I already want to go brush my teeth. Uh, you have <laughs> You don't you not only need to brush you Swish, need, best floss. Pr- best practices. Brush, floss, water pick. All three and whatever else you can find. Pressure washer. Pressure washer. <laughs> Speaking of which, saw a commercial on the other on TV the other day. I I do all three. I have a water pick, I floss, and I brush. There was a commercial for water pick. I like water pick as a brand. It's a good brand. It's a good concept. The commercial. I've been I've been itching to share this with you because I I I know a lot of millions of people saw that commercial and it runs all the time. Whatever. Good commercial, a little misleading. They said a lot of things in the commercial that are true. The the one suggestion, though, was that somehow flossing, you know, it's painful, it's difficult, it's inconvenient, and and you walked away with the impression that all you need to do is use your water pick and you're fine. That's not true. Flossing... There's water pick is not a substitute for flossing. I'll explain more later. You have to floss water. Just using your water pick is not enough. And you have to brush. And I'm a big fan of the electric toothbrush, that hand brushing business. Forget about it. I haven't used a hand brush and toothbrush in years. Not very many people pay attention. You'd be surprised. The statistics on periodontal disease, we're going to talk about that today. I even found a connection between oral health, periodontal disease, and obesity. I mean, there's stu- I mean, I spent literally three hours going through the literature looking at this theme. And I one story, one study after another, different connections. And when I was done, you know, I was as I and I couldn't <laughs> have, I didn't have my water pick with me, I didn't have my toothbrush, and I didn't have my uh, my I had the floss in the truck <laughs> in my vehicle. Not it's not not really a truck; it's a crossover. But and I wanted to. I, I'm you're you're right, Josh. I wanted. To, I said, "Geez, I, I need to go brush my teeth." <laughs> <laughs> I feel. I literally like feel like that right now. Like, I can't wait to leave the studio to go home. I usually well, stop and hit it up on lunch and stuff, but now wait, I'm like... You man, wait. Get... Wait till I'm done with this today. Oh, I already kind of skimmed the article. Oh, you saw the yeah. articles I sent you. Yeah, they're in for a treat. <laughs> what I do is I send uh, how... how the part I'll give you some insight into how the show is produced. What I'll do is I send to Josh the articles and the stories and the studies that I'm talking about that I'm I'm trying to share with you. And then he will put them up onto the screen. If you're watching the show at like, for example, oral bacteria linked to risk of stroke. He's showing you the press release from um, the University of Louisville where that study was done. And And you're a fact-based show. And it's a fact, this is an evidence-based show. And so that's what we do. And Josh gets that before I come into the studio and uh, so he knows what I'm going to be talking about, gets it up on the screen. You see it. You can see it for yourself. We use that word knows very loosely. <laughs> I have an idea of what you're going to talk about. Well, you get the idea. That's the theme today. The theme is watch your mouth. And when, when and that's why the mouth is a bacteria factory. And when you get bitten by a human... You, you need to go get that taken care of because you can get an infection. All right? 877-897-8255. 877-897-TALK. And when you think of all the commercials, the print advertising, all the media that 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 is involved in advertising and marketing toothpaste, all kinds of oral care products. It's 
a multi-billion dollar business. And still people got issues. This is, a, this is an important topic. And you may say, well, I take real good care of my health. Well, it, that may be so. But there's much to learn here. And if nothing else, when I, sh when I draw the connections between oral bacteria, periodontal disease, and different health issues, boy. I think I, did a, I do a good job. You know what? I'm going to do a better job. You are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition, where we care about your health and all its different dimensions, coast to coast. At CannaVest, we believe that the future of hemp is unlimited, and through innovative and responsible application and science, we will enhance the prosperity and well-being of our customers, employees, and communities. As pioneers, our long-term goal at CannaVest is to locate hemp seed processing mills near to our future family of hemp farmers. These local factories will convert hemp seed into nutritious oil, protein powders, bread flour, and hemp meal. CannaVest supports local efforts and believes that sustainability starts locally. CannaVest was named one of the Nutritional Outlook's Best of 2014, and we are committed to pioneering the hemp revolution as the world's leading producer of quality hemp-derived CBD products. Resistance to change is in great part the result of trying to do today's job with yesterday's tools and with yesterday's concepts. The hemp revolution is here, and it's up to all of us to change perception and to impact policy. Will you join us in this movement? Learn more about the education and science behind CannaVest at CannaVest.com. Feeling tired after your meal? Occasional gas, bloating, or indigestion at inopportune times? You may have an enzyme deficiency. Did you know that many common digestive discomforts can be caused by poor digestion? When food isn't completely digested, it begins to ferment in the digestive tract, which may cause uncomfortable symptoms. Digest Gold, America's number one selling enzyme product, offers unparalleled support for your digestive needs. It contains exclusive blends of enzymes optimized to be three times stronger and work more than six times faster than other leading digestive supplements. With just one capsule per meal, Digest Gold offers support to break down carbohydrates, fats, fiber, and protein. Enzyme Medica products are all natural, vegetarian, contain absolutely no fillers, and are vegan and kosher when possible. You'll find Digest Gold and other Enzymedica products at fine health food stores near you. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Is your skin showing signs of aging? Do you want hair with more body and stronger nails? Add NeoCell's Super Collagen Plus C to your daily routine to help you regain your youthful, vibrant appearance. Collagen is the body's key structural protein, and it is critical to the elasticity and strength of connective tissues like skin, ligaments, and tendons. Recent clinical studies suggest that supplementing with collagen may reduce wrinkles and increase the firmness of your skin, improve the thickness of your hair, and strengthen your nails. Previously, medical studies also show a wide range of benefits from collagen supplements that may help with your joint pain, bone strength, and exercise recovery. NeoCell's Super Collagen Plus C provides 100% pure collagen that's hydrolyzed for maximum absorption. Results are felt and seen within weeks. Super Collagen Plus C promotes a healthy body by providing specialized nutritional support to help fight the effects of aging. NeoCell's Super Collagen Plus C products are available everywhere fine nutritional supplements are sold. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin Vitamin Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com, as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life for less.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Nubian Heritage, Global Healing, Modern Wellness, BSN, Finish First, Nordic Naturals, Pure and Great Tasting Omega Oils, Jaro Formulas, Superior Nutrition and Formulation, Natural Factors, Where Great Health Begins, Kyolic, Aging Makes the Finest Garlic Truly Odorless, A. Vogel, Europe's Leading Brand of Herbal Medicine. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Watch your mouth. That's the theme for today's show. Just trying to make the point that we're going to be talking about oral health generally and how it relates to overall health. I'm going to take a little, real hard look at periodontal disease, which is an inflammatory disease, and how it connects to other inflammation-related diseases. <clears throat> and... There are some real interesting paradoxes associated with periodontal disease. And I'll explain. 877-897-8255. What got my attention on this topic, I was looking yesterday. The show is produced like part of it's produced a day ahead of time and some on the day, or early morning hours of the day the air show goes on the air. It depends on my schedule. But yesterday I came across a study on oral bacteria being linked to stroke. Caught my eye, of course. And these are researchers out of the University of Louisville. So they had these patients, and the patients were admitted to the hospital for acute stroke. Uh, the researchers in doing this study have now provided more understanding in the association between certain types of stroke and the presence of the of oral bacteria one in particular it's called if you want to know the name I'll tell you it's CNM positive streptococcus mutans you won't remember that and neither will I it was the study was published in scientific reports, it's a journal of the of the of the Nature Publishing Group. So these researchers at the National Cerebral and Cardiovascular Center in Osaka, Japan, observed stroke patients so that they could gain this understanding of the relationship between what they said was is hemorrhagic stroke and oral bacteria. Most people probably wouldn't make that connection. With the patients who experienced intracerebral hemorrhage, it's called ICH, 26% of those patients were observed to have a specific bacterium in their saliva, the CNM-positive streptococcus mutans one I just mentioned. Among patients with other types of stroke, only 6% tested positive for this particular bacterium. Now, typically, strokes are de defined by, characterized by, as either ischemic strokes, where you have a blockage of one or more blood vessels that will supply your brain, or you can have a hemorrhagic stroke, in which the blood vessels in the brain rupture, causing bleeding. See the difference? Ischemic stroke, you got a blockage of a blood vessel that supplies the brain. Hemorrhagic strokes, you got a blood vessel in the brain that ruptures. Hmm. They found, these researchers found that the number of... Um, of, of cerebral micro, what they call cerebral micro, micro bleeds was significantly higher in people that had that bacterium that I pointed out to you than those without that bacterium. And so they, the researchers hypothesized that that particular bacterium may bind to the blood vessels weakened by age and high blood pressure causing arterial ruptures in the brain, leading to small or large hemorrhages. It's an that's an interesting mechanism of action there. 
So you got aging involved. You got high blood pressure, which we aging and high blood pressure weaken the blood vessel. You got this bacterium that's in the blood vessel and it contributes to the artery rupturing in the brain, which leads to a hemorrhagic stroke. And here you thought it was the hamburgers and the French fries and whatnot that caused you to have arterial disease. These bacteria are contributing, they're contributors. If nothing else, the study underscores the importance of your oral health with your brain health. And you must be mindful of taking care of your teeth. It's good not only for your teeth, but it's good for your brain and it's good for your heart as well. I'll point to some studies showing a connection between periodontal disease and cardiovascular disease. I'll show, I'll draw a connection between periodontal disease, type two diabetes. I saw some studies with periodontal disease and cancer. This is serious business. There are numerous studies that show a more than close relationship between the presence of gum disease, periodontal disease, and heart disease. Do you have a picture of periodontal disease, Josh? If you're watching the show, he's going to show you. God almighty, that's, that's tough to look at. Ow. It's not pleasant, but it's, it is what it is. I think this is one of the more important topics. I, you know, I should talk about this more on the show because this is something people can do something about. There's no mystery here. I couldn't find hardly any argument between and among researchers about this. They all seem to be in agreement about it. I'll be back. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than Solace, an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit TakeSolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep naturally. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head-turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by NeoCell, the true science of collagen. Enzymetica, the enzyme experts. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Form Essentials, makers of the sleep aid Solace. Now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Nutrix Hawaii, more nutrition, better health, purely Hawaiian. Nature's Dynamics, garden to gummy supplements made by dad. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. One of the most unsuspecting culprits in undermining people's health is their mouth. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. What I'm getting at is your dental, oral, periodontal health, however you want to say it. Oral health overall. And it's just remarkable, this connection between a per- what's go- what the, the health of a person's teeth and gums and their general health. And I'm talking about children as well as adults. And unfortunately, the one thing that people don't like to do is what? Go to the dentist. They would rather give a speech. And usually people would rather die than give a speech. When they do the surveys, the things that people fear the most, giving a speech comes before death. And they would rather give a speech and go to the dentist if they have, even if they have communication apprehension. That's how much people hate it. I have a great dentist. She's, she's wonderful. So... That's where we're going to be today with this. Talk about it. Please, if you have any, there are no guests. Of course, you're always the guest, but sometimes we bring in people from around different places on the planet to come in and talk with us. Today, it's just you and me and my two producers. 877-897-8255, 877-897-TALK. You had something on your mind? You were going to say something now? You have another, you have some more photographs of periodontal disease? Oh, yeah, there's a plethora. Show. Let me see a couple here. If you're watching the show, Josh will, uh, is going to flash up uh, some images of it. And it's, it's, it's pretty serious business. It, it doesn't even look good. Man, you can see the erosion of the gum. And what happens, I'll explain a little later, the gums and then the bone, and then when the bone erodes, that now you can't even get implants because there's nothing to anchor the implant to, it can be pretty bad. And then you even have, even then, you, then you have difficulty with, with um, or, you know, artificial teeth, false teeth, whatever you want to call them. So in the first story, I was making a connection between uh, your oral bacteria in your mouth and some of these bacteria that contribute to periodontal disease, the one that I mentioned, the C- CNM positive streptococcus mutans, that particular bacterium increases the risk for stroke, as I explained. So I came across another study, and there are hundreds if not thousands on this topic, from the Society for General Microbiology, and they took it. They took a look at dental plaque bacteria, and there are a host of them, and their ability to trigger. You ready? Blood clots. What happens here is that the oral bacteria, these pathogenic bacteria, and they are pathogenic. Believe you me escape into your bloodstream, see? And then they're able to cause blood clots and then do what? Trigger life-threatening endocarditis. Which, and then further research shows that there's some new drugs to tackle this infective heart disease. Then you start to go, then you have to go down, once your heart then becomes diseased in that way, it's called endocarditis which is life-threatening, then you gotta go on these 
I don't think there's a supplement for that. Okay. Antibiotics. I'm not quite sure what these drugs are. I, I have to look. Could be. Itis is inflammation. So, you know, the redu what's causing the inflammation? It's these bacteria. So you're in the immune system here, Josh, what's interesting, usually the immune system, once marshaled to fight an infection or repair an injury in other parts of the body, is able to do it. With periodontal disease, the immune system is marshaled, and the paradox is that the immune system ends up destroying the gums and the teeth in its effort to fight the bacteria because the bacteria are not going anywhere. It can't get rid of the bacteria. And so it keeps fighting that war, keep battle after battle, day in, day out, you're in, you're out. And next thing you know, the very thing that was to protect you ends up doing you in. Because the back, it, it's for some, and I, I came across a study where they looked at exactly that issue. And the title of the study was Immunopathogens of Periodontal Disease, Current and Emerging Paradigms. And they discuss in the article how the, the immune system it, it attacks is, itself. It, it's it's trying to help, and it but but it can't do it, it can't kill off these bacteria. And by the way, period, and I didn't know this. Admittedly, I this was news to me. Periodontal disease. And I'm quoting now from this article. First sentence of the study, periodontal disease is one of the most common chronic inflammatory diseases of humans. I knew it was serious. I didn't realize it was that common. And the problem with periodontal disease, it's multifactorial. What do I mean? It involves you, the host. It involves the environment. And it involves these bacteria. However, it is the host's uh, inflammatory response that drives much of the soft and hard tissue destruction. That's the paradox. It's the host's own bacteria, and then the inflammatory, the, the immune system's response to that bacteria, it's inflammatory response to kill them, that ends up, yeah, it may kill some of the bacteria, but it ends up destroying the gums and the bone. Serious business. There's nothing to mess around with. That's why you need to watch your mouth, which is the title for today's show. When I come back, I'll tell you about these plaque that trigger blood clots. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. And then we'll try to explain what happens here, how these cavity-causing microbes invade your heart. <sighs> That's what their destiny is. They're looking, man, we're the host. And believe you me, they, take, they, know, how to, they know how to live inside of us. At Country Life Vitamins, we've been helping people live happy, healthy lives since 1971. And we believe integrity should always be our number one ingredient. We are committed to this belief because you deserve high quality nutrition, specifically crafted with the highest standards to support your health. Country Life's manufacturing facility is an NSF GMP registered facility, as well as USDA certified organic, so you can feel good about the products you're taking. Country Life Vitamins is also the first supplement company in the United States to have a complete line of products certified gluten-free. That's over 500 products. Country Life Vitamins Pledge of Integrity is based on five standards. Authenticity, cleanliness, freshness, consistency, and accuracy. Ask for Country Life's top-selling products such as Coenzyme B Advanced for increased energy or Flex Able for joint health. Country Life Vitamins' commitment to ensure all of our products are pure, wholesome, gluten-free supplements full of natural goodness provides peace of mind with the knowledge you are using a brand you can trust. Hi, I'm Kate. 
I try to eat a healthy diet, but the irony of eating healthy foods, like broccoli or beans, is that even though they're healthy for us, they can still cause occasional digestive upsets. That's why I take a DigestSmart high potency enzyme with every meal. DigestSmart is from Renew Life, the digestive care experts. It's the first digestive enzyme certified by Izyme, the international enzyme testing program. Each capsule provides a full spectrum of 25 powerful plant-based raw enzymes to break down each major food group, including carbs, fats, proteins, and fiber. Digest Smart Enzymes also feature targeted delivery capsules to reach your intestines, where 90% of digestion occurs. Digest Smart promotes more complete breakdown of the foods you eat and optimizes nutrient availability. Plus, it helps ease digestive upsets and supports your overall digestive health. Now that's really smart. Digest Smart is from the makers of Ultimate Flora Probiotics, and both are available in health food stores everywhere. Exclusively from Natural Factors. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Murray. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to talk with you about PGX, a truly revolutionary natural product that works perfectly to help get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult. PGX is a clinically proven way to help people to achieve their ideal body weight that is safe and natural. PGX leads to a dramatic reduction in the glycemic index of any food or meal. It also ultimately causes the release of compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, it's not your fault. You just need the tremendous support that PGX can provide. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, please go to pgx.com. Energy, energy, and more energy. Everyone needs it. But did you know you can get the energy you need quick through the powers of wild forest extracts? Wild chaga and birch bark were a secret source of energy and power for Russian athletes years ago, making them unbeatable. Now you too can experience real energy and power like you've never dreamed possible. Wild chaga is the world's top source of SOD, superoxide dismutase, that critical enzyme that blocks the aging process and keeps your cells healthy. Wild birch extract is the world's top source of betulin, a natural sterol needed by every cell of the body and healthy cells mean a healthy you and a more powerful one too chaga birch bark is also good for your heart healthy cholesterol and even helps build healthy arteries no wonder it's known as the king of all herbs so take your chaga charge tea with wild birch bark every day and chaga max capsules from north american herb and spice and get that maximum energy you need also available in liquid as chago power drops these statements have not been evaluated by the food and drug administration these products are not intended to diagnose treat cure or prevent any disease are you tired of taking vitamin pills or powders? How about gummy vitamins with high fructose corn syrup or coloring? Finally, you have a choice with Nature's Dynamic Whole Food Gummy Supplements and Probiotics made by a dad. Imagine getting benefits of your garden in a delicious gummy supplement. Nature's Dynamics utilizes organic, plant-based vitamin and mineral sources with non-GMO, gluten, soy, and dairy-free ingredients in a delicious gummy for the whole family. Nature's Dynamics has berry garden gummies made by a dad. Multivitamin Omega-3 and probiotics for kids, Body Boost Joint Relief, Whole Food Bone and Calcium Gummy, Whole Food Immune and Vitamin C Gummy, Whole Food Omega-3 Gummy, Be Beautiful Hair, Skin and Nails Gummy, Prenatal Plus Gummy, Whole Food Probiotics for Digestive Support, and Body Boost Energy and Wellness Multivitamin for him and her in a delicious, easy-to-digest gummy. To learn more about Nature's Dynamics or to find a retailer near you, visit naturesdynamics.com or madebyadad.com. Nature's Dynamics, Garden to Gummy Supplements, Made by a Dad. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Now Foods. Our products work. American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Renew Life, the digestive care company. Country Life, a leader and authority in natural health and nutrition. North American Urban Spice, the only oregano oil you can take on a daily basis. Canavest, from seed to shelf. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Watch your mouth. What I mean by that is your oral health. There are certain conditions linked to people's oral health. Uh, 
include some various diseases and conditions, like, for example, endocarditis. I alluded to that just a moment ago. That's where you have an infection in the inner lining of, of your heart. That inner lining is called the endocardium, hence endocarditis. And this is when the bacteria from your mouth or these other germs from another part of your body uh, spread through your bloodstream then attached to damaged areas, damaged areas in your heart, in that endocardium. Then you have cardiovascular disease. There's more than a few studies to show or suggest that heart disease, clogged arteries, and I just reported on this stroke, may be linked to inflammation and infections caused by these oral pathogenic bacteria. What about pregnancy and birth? Well, periodontitis, gum infection, right? Gum disease has been linked to premature birth and low birth weight. You can't make this up. What about diabetes? Well, diabetes reduces the, uh, the body's resistance to infection. What does that do? Relative to your oral health, it puts your gums at risk. And this is a two-way this is a two-way street with um, with uh, with um, gum disease and diabetes. And it turns out that gum disease appears to be more frequent in sev and, and severe among those who suffer from diabetes. So gum disease makes diabetes worse and diabetes makes gum disease worse. Hence, I say it's a two-way street. HIV and AIDS, oral problems. These, uh, there are these painful mucosal lesions are often found in people who suffer from HIV and AIDS. Or, you know, AIDS. Here's a connection you might not have made between your oral health and your bones, osteoporosis. Some suggest, there's some studies to suggest that periodontal bone loss and tooth loss <clears throat> are linked to periodontal disease. Then I saw a study this morning, more than one, linking Tooth loss before age 35 could be a risk factor for Alzheimer's. Can't make that up. And it's the immune system here too. It gets all, all messed up. As I was explaining a moment ago. Boy, I'll tell you, it's just, so what can you do? And I know you've heard these recommendations a million times before, but I'll say them again. Brush your teeth at least twice a day. I would recommend an electric toothbrush, an Oral-B, uh, whatever, which, whatever one you want to use. Floss. My dentist is, always reminds me, the, the, um, the tech who, I, I get my teeth cleaned four times a year. Every, every three months I go in. If you use an electric toothbrush or if you're using a hand brush, replace it every three to four months. Even if it doesn't look like it, it doesn't, they need to be replaced, especially with these electric toothbrushes. And I'm, I would encourage you to get your teeth cleaned at least twice a year. I go in four times a year. And I think I'm not doing enough. That's just me. 877 897 8255. And these, in parad periodontitis, periodontal disease is an inflammatory disease. You think it's an accident? Heart disease is an inflammatory disease. Diabetes is an inflammatory disease. So I was suggesting that these 
pathogenic bacteria, these dental plaque bacteria, can trigger blood clots. There is a bacterium called Streptococcus gordoni. I guess that's how you pronounce it, or gordoni. Streptococcus gordoni. It's a normal visitor and inhabitant of your mouth and contributes to plaque that forms on the surface of your teeth. If those bacteria get into the bloodstream through bleeding gums, they can start to just wreck your health and wreak havoc because they're clever. They masquerade as proteins. They've been around a long time and they've, they've found ways to survive and take advantage of the host. This is one of the things that they do. So it turns out that a Dr. Helen Pedersen said that this, said this. This is remember I just mentioned endocarditis. Remember I just said that a moment ago. In the development of infective endocarditis, a crucial step is the bacteria sticking to the heart valve and then activating platelets to form a clot. We are now looking at the mechanism behind this sequence of events in the hope that we can develop, she said, new drugs which are needed to prevent blood clots and also infective endocarditis. Close quote that. So there's the mechanism of action. The bacteria from the plaque on your teeth get into, get into the bloodstream from bleeding glump, gums they then course through the bloodstream. They eventually come to a heart valve. They stick to the heart valve. And then you have these activating platelets that form a clot. Right? You need blood clots floating around in your bloodstream like you need gum disease. Watch your mouth. Brush, floss, I also use the water pick. I do all three. Go in for checkups at least twice a year. Get your teeth cleaned. Three is better. Four is great. You are listening to Let's Talk, Let's Talk Nutrition, where your oral health is a window into your overall health. And we're coast to coast.
Palestinians. Statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition 2016 and I hope you're having a good day. We're into the uh, second portion of the show. No guest today. You're always the guest, of course, but, uh, Nobody calling in, nobody in studio, other than you, me, and my two producers. So we're all here, 877-897-8255. And today the theme is Watch Your Mouth. (laughs) Talking about oral health, and boy, I'll tell you, this really gets my attention. And it, it catches people off guard if you're watching the show Josh is going to show you a series of slides or images of people suffering from periodontitis or periodontal disease. I'll, I'll talk about I'll tell you what periodontal disease here is in a second. I'll, ex, I'll explain a little bit more. And, you know, we're told as children, I mean, what, what do you recall? What the thing, you know, go to bed, you got to go to bed and you got to brush your teeth. Parents and Parents on us, remember as children, all the time about brushing our teeth, brushing our teeth, and for good reason. The connection between oral health and overall health, there's no ambiguity. And as I said earlier in the show, I didn't find any debate, disagreements, arguments. You know, these researchers go back and forth sometimes on certain issues. Here, I didn't see hardly any debate at all. I'm not saying it's not out there on some, you know, very sophisticated, perhaps arcane issue here that wouldn't interest the average person, maybe not even a dentist, but I couldn't find much, believe me. So it's quite clear what we know. uh, There's a lot of agreement and consensus on what people need to do. Brush your teeth at least twice a day. Floss. Do not replace your flossing with a water pick. I'm not against water pick. I use it myself every day, twice a day. And I floss and I brush with an electric toothbrush. Replace the head on the toothbrush, if it's electric, every three to four months, four months at most. And if you're using a a handheld brush, replace it every three to four months and get your teeth cleaned Go check, get checkups twice a year, get your teeth cleaned twice a year, at least, at least. I go four times. I go every three months. Eight seven seven eight nine seven eight two five five. Okay, so what about periodontal disease? See if I can explain what it is and and you know try to educate and inform here so that. We're, we know what we know what we're dealing with. It turns out that we say periodontal disease. It's really periodontal diseases, and they, it's a constellation or a collective and of diseases. And it's the periodontal diseases 
when you take them collectively, they're the most common disease known to humankind. Think about that. The most common diseases known to humankind. With respect to periodontal disease, mild forms of periodontal disease affect, are you ready? 75% of adults in the U.S. The more severe forms of periodontal disease, according to this one report I was looking at, affect about 20 to 30% of adults. And in this article that I was reading, the link between periodontal disease and cardiovascular disease, to give, it, give them attribution, they argued that since periodontal disease is so common in the general population, it could very well account for a significant proportion of the proposed infection-associated risk for cardiovascular diseases. And I saw a lot of that in, the, in, my, in this morning when I was um, reviewing the literature. I saw study after study after study making a connection between periodontal health, periodontal disease, and heart disease, including stroke that I just report a new study I reported on. I, I, I'm a little fuzzy. I can't remember, but I, I'm working from memory here. It's tens of millions. It's at least over 40 million. I know it's over 40 million people in the U.S. Um, suffer from cardiovascular disease. And a higher rate, I think, in the elderly population. And it turns out with the elderly, oral health, periodontal disease is an issue. So that's a bad combination of age, heart disease, periodontal disease. Some of you probably know a family member, a friend, or maybe yourself that's had to deal with this. And periodontal diseases, as a class of diseases, they, these are inflammation. It's about inflammation. Periodontal diseases include gingivitis. You hear this on the commercials, gingivitis, in which the inflammation is confined, it, it will be confined to what's called the gingivia and is reversible if you take care, if you have good oral hygiene, you can reverse gingivitis. And then you have periodontitis. Periodontitis is another different class here where the inflammation extends and results in tissue destruction and bone destruction. Tissue destruction, the gums, in uh, periodontitis results in the breakdown of the collagen fibers, if you want to know, of the periodontal ligament, resulting with they, in, in what the researchers say and the scientists say in the formation of periodontal, a, your dentist will tell you, you got a pocket, he'll say, or she'll say, you have a little pocket here, a periodontal pocket between the gingiva and the tooth. This pocketing you, you, you won't be able to see it in the mirror if you look. It's not evident on, on a visual inspection. And so your technician or your dentist uses a periodontal probe and able to locate the pocket. Periodontitis, itis is an indication, it's an inflammation, progresses slowly. The tissue dis the, the tissue destruction that results from it is irreversible. The pockets will deepen as this gets out of more control and you get further destruction of those collagen fibers that I mentioned of the periodontal ligament and the bone continues to 
get destroyed as well. Not very pretty, pretty picture. Josh had found some images of periodontal disease, periodontitis, where you see the, the erosion, where you see the gums are totally inflamed, you see the the strut, you see the bone being worn away. Hmm. By the way, uh, lifestyle is correlated with periodontitis. Smoking, by the way, is a major risk factor. It, it severely increases the risk for periodontitis and its severity. Never mind the diet, sugar, and so on that gets into the teeth and causes decay, that's not treated, and so on, and so on. Brush your teeth, watch your mouth. Are you suffering from those awful allergies? Hay fever, sneezing, watery eyes. Here's some advice you won't want to miss. I'm a doctor, and my patients used to dread allergy season. But then I discovered A. Vogel Allergy Relief, a unique combination of natural ingredients that usually addresses every one of my patients' symptoms. And while it's clear that the vast majority of my patients benefit significantly from Avogel Allergy Relief, what's even more amazing is that after using it, at least half of my patients' symptoms didn't return. As a doctor, that's the kind of outcome my patients and I can appreciate. Get doctor-recommended Avogel Allergy Relief for your allergy symptoms. It's proven safe, it doesn't make you drowsy, it's fast-acting, and it may even help prevent your allergies from returning. Available at Vitamin Discount Centers, Richards, Rollin' Oats, Vitamin Shop, Nutrition Smart, and other fine health food stores. Still looking for your fountain of youth? It's Zinnia. Look no further than the beauty aisle of your favorite health and nutrition store. Zinnia is the newest product from Form Essentials, the brand that brought you solace. So you know it's filled with the highest quality ingredients. Many cosmetic products only treat topically, while Zinnia addresses aging and hair loss from within. Formulated to support the growth of radiant hair, skin, and nails, Zinnia is sure to help you turn back the hands of time and assist you in aging gracefully. Zinnia provides a spectrum of key vitamins and other evidence-based natural ingredients ingredients such as alpha lipoic acid, biotin, and collagen and elastin peptides, all combined in one capsule for your convenience. By promoting beauty from the inside out, you're strengthening your cells and creating a lasting enhancement to your natural beauty. Zinnia fits into your daily routine and can be taken to boost your current cosmetic products. Available now at leading health and nutrition stores. Ask for Zinnia by name. Start taking Zinnia hair, skin, and nails today and get ready to look amazing. Are you waking up each day to the life you have to live or to the life you want to live? Better health shouldn't be left to chance. Smart choices to living longer and stronger include making Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract a part of your daily routine. For years, medical researchers have recommended adding Kyolic to the diet as a powerful tool to enhancing overall heart and immune health. Recent clinical studies at UCLA Medical Center using Kyolic suggest that garlic may slow plaque formation in the arteries and support healthy cholesterol and homocysteine levels. Previous research also shows Kyolic may enhance your immune system defenses. Kyolic is organic, odorless, and the only antioxidant garlic supplement available worldwide. Maintaining a healthier you could extend your life. Your wellness begins with Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract. Available everywhere fine nutritional supplements are sold. Visit Kyolic.com. That's K-Y-O-L-I-C.com. Or call 1-800-421-2998 for a free sample today. Did you know that when it comes to supporting whole body health, there's an herbal supplement that may be as important as your daily multivitamin? Discover Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter. Formulated to support a whole body healthy inflammation response an ongoing natural process and part of the body doing its job. We often think of the inflammation response as something we can feel, such as where there are sensitive nerve endings. But did you know that we can also have an inflammation response we can't feel? And whether we are aware of it or not, our inflammation response can affect the whole body. Zyflamend is a patented blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent turmeric, that help balance and support your body's natural, healthy inflammation response for overall health and wellness. And it's clinically tested. Discover the premier herbal supplement for whole body health from New Chapter, Zyflamend Whole Body. These 
statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Available at your local fine health food store. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Nubian Heritage, Global Healing, Modern Wellness, BSN, Finish First, Nordic Naturals, Pure and Great Tasting Omega Oils, Jaro Formulas, Superior Nutrition and Formulation, Natural Factors, Where Great Health Begins, Kyolic, Aging Makes the Finest Garlic Truly Odorless, A. Vogel, Europe's Leading Brand of Herbal Medicine. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Okay, watch your mouth. That's the theme for today, talking about oral health. Now, one of the things that is often recommended all the time, you you hear it, you see it, you're told to do it. People don't like, seem don't, they don't seem not to like flossing. Excuse me, do you floss? Uh, It's, (laughs) I, I floss and I got it into my thick head a long, long time ago that I needed to do that, and it makes a difference. Now, you know, the one recommendation is brush your teeth twice a day. I, I think when it comes to flossing, you need to do that. My review, when I looked at all the different articles, talking about flossing at least a couple of times a day as well. But people don't like don't like to do it. It will help with preventing. Uh, tooth loss and flame gums and periodontal disease. It's essential, it's a necessary condition, in my opinion, for oral health. Brushing doesn't, even with an electric toothbrush, doesn't reach about maybe 30%, I was reading, of the tooth surface where plaque can build up. So flossing, it's a difficult. It's difficult to persuade people to do it. It's a hard habit to get into, but once you get into it, it you know become you just do it out of habit, and it's not on you know you do it mindlessly, and it's a good thing. Now there's a lot of information there. You go to the American Dental Association, the Canadian Dental Association, the Russian Dental Association, whatever, um, and you're going to find a lot of information on how to floss. I'm not a dentist. I didn't go to dental school, um, but I can read. And when you're flossing, you, you, know, you do it. You have to do it the right way. And so you take about 18 inches of floss, about 18 inches, and then you you know around the tips of your two fingers, and then you leave about two inches between your hands, and then wrap the floss around your index and middle fingers on both hands and then slide the floss between the teeth. Now I'm going a little bit into Dale here because people don't necessarily floss correctly and then wrap it around one of the teeth into a, forming like a C shape around the base. And then you gently slide under the gum line. So then you wipe wipe the tooth on that side two or three times from the base to the tip and then you go to the other side of state, keep the floss in that tooth and then move to the other side of the tooth and do that side. People often forget to do that and they just do the one side. You're trying to remove plaque. You're trying to get kill those bacteria. And then when you take the floss out, don't use that same section on the next tooth. Move the floss, use a different piece of the floss that has not been used yet and use it on the next tooth and so on. It's important to do this. Now, a lot of people floss only to remove the food that's stuck between the teeth. It's not just for that. You just don't put it in and then remove some food particle. You have to do what I said, moving it up and down on each side of the tooth and stimulating and hitting the gum and stimulating the gum as well. It takes time, you know, 
you sc- you're scraping the surface up and down two or three times on each side, and you're move- move, uh, moving gently below the gum line on both sides of the tooth. It's important to do that. Again, people tend to do it on just on one side. Ask your dentist to show you if you don't know how. And you got to use enough pressure. Now, you can use too much pressure, and you can press too hard against the gum, and you don't want to do that either. It takes about two minutes. You got, what, roughly 28 teeth or something like that? You have to check me on that. So it's going to take you about two minutes or so to floss properly. And the teeth that my, the ones that I always struggle with are the ones way in the back, hard to get to. And as much as I go to the dentist four times a month, as much as I floss and, and, and use the water pick, I, I still, you know, my, the technician always says to me, you know, you got a little bit of you know, tenderness back here. You need to work on that a little bit more. It's frustrating. Do you floss, Josh? You do? Is it a habit? Do yes. You, you, yes. Steven, do you floss? Not too much? Once in a while? No. See? Yeah, I um, I, I got into the habit. I actually have horrible teeth. That came from hereditary reasons because my mom, mm-hmm. uh, her side of the family, they've got issues with that periodontal where the gums kind of recede. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've had uh, tooth work done for various reasons. So uh, I should floss, and I got into the habit at one point, but then I broke out of the habit, yeah. and I haven't since. So. You need to take care of your teeth, man. Oh, I know, because, I mean, the problems that I have, Especially you. Um, uh, uh, they're very minor to, compared to what the this, the pictures you guys have been showing on the uh, stream, but it's such a uh, it's so debilitating sometimes when just eating can be a chore or a pain, See depending that? on what's going on at that particular time. Yeah. See. Mm-mm-mm. Telling you. Yeah, I had an infection cleared up, and that was rough. I, yeah, I you've been talking to me care. about this for two months. Yeah, it's it's taken care of. And I told you to go to the dentist. Remember I got on you about it? Yeah, I, I just love work it so much like, that sounded I like your dad, put right? myself through punishment. I was know? being like your dad. You probably you probably walked out of here muttering to yourself, well, you should, he should shut up or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I totally did. I said I better go. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, I can't. You know, I don't talk enough about this on the show. Um, I should probably, if I can find a dentist, maybe I can find a dentist to come on, have come on to the show and talk about this. Watch your mouth. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head-turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than Solace, an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit takesolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep naturally.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by NeoCell, the true science of collagen. Enzyme Medica, the enzyme experts. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. Now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Nutrix Hawaii, more nutrition, better health, purely Hawaiian. Nature's Dynamics, garden to gummy supplements made by dad. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Welcome to the show. If you just tuned in, we're about halfway into this uh, second hour. I'm going to switch gears for a minute or two, move away from that oral health. That's a little, that's enough. I think I made the point, right? Think I made the point? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say you made the point. Gets a little heavy. Yeah. yeah. That's a little heavy. That's heavy. There's no there's no relief there. I can't believe how serious it is. Or like you were saying, how common. How common, how pervasive yeah. it is. I need to do better at reporting on this on the show because it's something we can do something about. Taking care of your teeth and gums. So critical. 877-897-8255. I'm not a... I hope I didn't, my intention was not to, I don't like the use of fear as a strategy to persuade people. I know it doesn't work in the long run. We try to educate around here. Along the way, I, I know I can get a little animated on some of these topics and just trying to emphasize their importance and underscore. You can't, unless you're watching, you can't see me. So I have to use my voice and the nonverbal theater of the mind. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and so I'm using the nonverbal to, to make a dramatic point to try to persuade. So you get my point. More than a few people have thought about theorized about and have attempted to get other human beings to exercise short of putting them at gunpoint almost everything fails it's i mean to get people to the, the two diff, most difficult things to do when you're working with clients is to get them to change their relationship with food and to get them to exercise <laughs> if you could get those two things done you're home free and billions of dollars have been spent in doing the, just the science, trying to tr study after study, trial, this and that. Never mind all of the marketing and the advertising. Throw that in. And more than 50% of the population doesn't move. It's more than that. I'll have to go back. I, I haven't looked at those numbers for a while, so I don't want to cite the statistics from five, ten years ago. But I know that it's more than 50% do not re exercise on a regular basis. So I keep coming across studies that seem that they think they have found the answer to get this done. In fact, in Time magazine, they had a, an article talking about this is the best way to get people to exercise. Well, with all due respect to the people at Time you don't know what you're talking about. I'll explain. It's not the best way, and you'll see where I'm getting at. The study was published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. Big time journal. Good study. Came out of the School of Medi uh, Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. It was a good study. No question about it. Clever. And here's what they did. They used financial reward, financial incentives in the experiment to increase physical activity. Before I give you the punchline, uh, let me tell you what they did. And then I'll ask the boys in the studio what they think the answer is, which worked out the best. They had three groups, and they had these three groups. There were 281 people, 
and they were given a goal of reaching 7,000 steps per day they had to complete for the 26-week period. That's how long the study was, 26 weeks, and each day they had to accomplish 7,000 steps. For the first 13 weeks, the participants were randomly assigned to one of four groups. Pay attention, this is important, you'll see. This is clever, but we'll discuss. They had a control group. Control group, always you need a control group in the experiment. They weren't given any financial reward, no financial incentive. They had a, the gain incentive group received $1.40 for every day that the goal was achieved. That came to about $42 per month, okay? It's not a lot of money, and that's what's interesting too. Then they had the lottery incentive group, and they entered into a daily, daily lottery with a possible prize that averaged to about $1.40 each day that the goal was achieved. And then they had the loss incentive group. They gave participants $42 at the start of each month. And then what they did is they took $1.40 away each day the goal was not achieved. So those are the four groups. The control group, the gain incentive group that got $1.40 for every day the goal was achieved, then the lottery group where a lottery number was pulled and if your number was pulled you got a dollar 40 cents if you won if you if you achieved your goal and then the loss incentive group where they gave people $42 to start off with at the beginning of the month and then took a dollar 40 cents away each month each day they they didn't fulfill the goal here's my question to Steve and Josh which one of those four groups was the most compliant and stuck with the regimen and did their 7,000 steps a day? Uh, I would go with the incentive group. The loss incentive group? No, the, the incentive. Incentive. Yeah, the one that would get uh, each individual person that met the goal <laughs> would get the dollar forty seven each day. Yeah, each 40 day. Cent. Yep. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, I would go with the opposite, the, the one where they gave them 42 bucks and would you know decrease that as they failed their goals. Well, we need to alert the media this is a rare occasion. Josh is right, Stephen is wrong. Using Stephen is right. You are right too, but and over the years, and I've passed. Oh, yeah, Steve. He's Steve, always right. Yeah. He always gets some. He's got like a 98% hit rate on these. Yeah, I'm like a D student. God, stop it. <laughs> You're better than that. Listen, the group that got the $42 a month right at the upfront, and then if they didn't accomplish the goal, they took a dollar. That group was more compliant. In other words, they figured out that the best way to do this is to take something away from somebody and that makes them more compliant. When I come back, I'm gonna weigh in on why, that's a nice experiment, but I have a comment about it and I'll have the LTN health question of the day too. At Canavest, we believe that the future of hemp is unlimited, and through innovative and responsible application in science, we will enhance the prosperity and well-being of our customers, employees, and communities. As pioneers, our long-term goal at Canavest is to locate hemp seed processing mills near to our future family of hemp farmers. These local factories will convert hemp seed into nutritious oil, protein powders, bread flour, and hemp meal. Canavest supports local efforts and believes that sustainability starts locally. Canavest was named one of the Nutritional Outlook's Best of 2014, and we are committed to pioneering the hemp revolution as the world's leading producer of quality hemp-derived CBD products. Resistance to change is in great part the result of trying to do today's job with yesterday's tools and with yesterday's concepts. The hemp revolution is here, and it's up to all of us to change perception and to impact policy. Will you join us in this movement? Learn more about the education and science behind Cannavest at Cannavest.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Murray with a minute of important health news. One of my all-time favorite natural products is a special extract of licorice known as DGL. 
DGL is short for deglycerizinated licorice, but I tell my patients that it stands for darn good licorice. DGL is made by removing the compound in licorice that can raise blood pressure in some people. Double-blind clinical studies have shown DGL is quite useful in healing stomach and intestinal ulcers. In fact, in head-to-head -head studies, it has actually outperformed popular anti-ulcer drugs. But rather than inhibit the release of stomach acid, DGL stimulates the normal defense mechanisms that prevent ulcer formation and promote healing. Clinical studies have not only shown DGL to be extremely effective, but also that it is completely without side effects. Clearly, DGL is a better choice. At Country Life Vitamins, we've been helping people live happy, healthy lives since 1971. And we believe integrity should always be our number one ingredient. We are committed to this belief because you deserve high quality nutrition, specifically crafted with the highest standards to support your health. Country Life's manufacturing facility is an NSF GMP registered facility, as well as USDA certified organic, so you can feel good about the products you're taking. Country Life Vitamins is also the first supplement company in the United States to have a complete line of products certified gluten-free. That's over 500 products. Country Life Vitamins Pledge of Integrity is based on five standards, authenticity, cleanliness, freshness, consistency, and accuracy. Ask for Country Life's top-selling products, such as Coenzyme B Advanced for increased energy or Flex Able for joint health. Country Life Vitamins' commitment to ensure all of our products are pure, wholesome, gluten-free supplements, full of natural goodness, provides peace of mind with the knowledge you are using a brand you can trust. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin Vitamin Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com, as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life for less. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all natural, high quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at YerbaPrima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Now Foods, our products work. American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Renew Life, the digestive care company. Country Life, a leader and authority in natural health and nutrition. North American Urban Spice, the only oregano oil you can take on a daily basis. Canavest, from seed to shelf. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Here's the LTN health question of the day. Earlier and throughout the show, for most of the show today, I was talking about oral health and, yeah, and all its different dimensions. I didn't even scratch the surface. And I mentioned a lot about periodontal disease. We even showed images on the screen. They're unpleasant. It's, it's just terrible. People suffer from that. It's a shame. And they suffer. It's just horrible. 
turns out that it's pretty pervasive. Josh was commenting. He just commented a little bit ago on the air that he didn't realize it was so pervasive. Here's the LTN health question of the day. What percent of adults in the United States suffer from at, at least mild forms of periodontal disease? What percent of adults in the United States suffer from mild forms of periodontal disease? 25, 50, or 75 percent? What percent of adults in the U.S. suffer from mild forms of periodontal disease? 25, 50, or 75 percent? 877-897-8255 is toll free, no charge. Right answer, $25 gift card. I can tell you that the more severe forms of periodontal disease, about 20 to 30% of adults suffer from them. Now, to go back to this study about using financial reward and as incentive to get people to exercise. This is a clever experiment. I would have loved to have been part of that project. I, I mean, I, very clever what they did. And they found that people, when money was gonna be taken away from them for not doing their 7,000 steps a day, they tended to be more compliant and that worked compared to giving them a dollar 40 cents every day when they did the 7,000 steps and got the $42 at the end of the month if they were compliant every day. Now, that's fine and dandy, but you know what? Applying this to everyday life, how do you, what are you gonna do? What's gonna be the, you're gonna, how are you gonna reward people such that if they don't do it, you're gonna take it away from them? And in the practical world of consulting, or being a doctor, or um, a um, you know a, a physical coach, athletic coach, or whatever, how are you gonna how are you gonna apply this to everyday life? I mean, you're gonna have to think a little hard and long about that. And I'm not one for giving people money to do things for their health. I just I don't like that idea. And who's gonna, who's gonna come up with the money, by the way? The reward is you get better health. You have to, changing behavior is, you know, there are no shortcuts here. Listen, there are just no shortcuts. And you have to share that with the client or the patient. If you're a doctor, it's a patient. With you're a consultant, it's a client. And you have to share that with the, with the person. And you gotta tell them what's gonna happen here <clears throat> and where the pitfalls are and there's gonna, it's gonna go ebb and flow, up and down, win, losses, and you just gotta work with the person to change the behavior. That's where the rubber meets the road. I don't give a darn what kind of program it is. At the end of the day, which it's about changing their behavior, changing their relationship with food, trying to get them to move more, getting them to get into a habit and a routine. It takes, t it's tedious, trust me. I know. So this is a clever experiment. It's nice to report on it, but you know what? Well, you're you're given forty-two dollars. Well, you can earn forty-two dollars throughout your lifetime many times, but you're mm -hmm. only given one life. So you're afraid to lose the forty-two bucks. Why doesn't that translate that interesting? to your, your one life? That's yeah. interesting. But we don't uh, somehow we just doesn't. You know, I don't know. The na one of the things about the nature of human nature is we, we tend to take things for granted, me included, me included, believe me, I'm not being sanctimonious about this. And we tend to take our health for granted until and when we get sick. And what we try to do around here is raise our consciousness about that and say, don't wait until then. Do what you can now. Let's go to Irene in Largo. It's pretty nice down there. Hi, Irene. Hello there. How are you? Okay. You know, the interesting thing is, while you were talking mm. uh, about dental care, mm -hmm. uh, during the commercials, I was looking at this uh, magazine we get, Senior Voice. Yes. And it has an article in exactly what you were talking about. It, it talks about inflammatory processes, mm -hmm. you know, coming from the teeth, and they can cause more than 200 different chronic degenerative diseases, just like you said, cancer 
cardiovascular, diabetes, and so forth. It's interesting. So, see, I'm not altogether senile. <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> well, I appreciate you sharing that. I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that because, you know, I'm trying to find, Irene, I'm trying to find things to talk about and share on the air for people who listen to the show and watch it that has meaning in their life, you know, in their everyday life. Right. Notwithstanding all the elegant theories and ideas I get and principles, I get all that and I love that stuff. Yeah. But at some point, you know, like you came across that little article. So I just reinforced, at least for you anyway, this whole idea about oral health. So you find your article, it's exactly what I'm talking about on the show. Yeah. Yeah, it works out all right then. Yeah, real good. Anyway, so... You but let me just ask you, how are you doing, by the way? What, with the teeth? No. No. <laughs> no, how are you doing? How are you? Uh, fair. Fair. Yeah, fair. Y you're hanging in there? Hanging in there with uh, osteoarthritis, which is not fun. I know. Yeah, I got it in the hip so I can hardly walk. Oh, it's tough stuff. Or do you live alone? Or are you in a or Are you in a facility or what? I'm, I'm in an independent facility. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm glad I could spend some time with you there. I can't come visit you. I can visit you this way, huh? <laughs> yeah. And I appreciate it. Please. I appreciate you listening. Uh, so, what percent of the population suffers from mild forms of period uh, periodontal disease? 75%. Yeah, 75%. Congratulations, Irene. You won a $25 supplement gift card. Uh, thank you so much for listening and, and sharing with your little article. And I wish you the best, okay? Thank I do. Thank you so very much, Michael. Thank you. That's why I do this show for people just like Irene. I love you. Your health is your wealth.